Hi everyone, in this lecture you are going to learn coagulase test. Coagulase test is commonly used test in microbiology. In this lecture you will learn purpose, principle, procedure and results with my simple tricks. The purpose of coagulase test. The purpose of coagulase test is to identify whether an organism produces the coagulase. Coagulase is an enzyme that is produced by Staph aureus. Coagulase test is used to differentiate Staphylococcus aureus that is coagulase positive from coagulase negative Staphylococcus means this test is used to differentiate staph aureus from its other staphylococcus species staph aureus produce two types of coagulase bound coagulase and free coagulase bound coagulase as the name shows it bound to the cell wall of staph aureus and free coagulase as the name shows it's it is secreted by staph aureus the bound coagulase is detected by slide coagulase test and free coagulase is detected by tube coagulase test. Slide coagulase test is used to screen isolates of staph aureus and tube coagulase test is used for confirmation. So here is my trick to remember that slide coagulase test is used for screening as both starts with S so in this way you will remember that slide coagulase test is used for screening purpose so in this lecture you are going to learn slide coagulase test tube coagulase test will be discussed in the next lecture the principle of coagulase test coagulase test is present are produced by staph aureus so it converts fibrinogen into fibrin clot so what coagulase enzyme do it converts fibrinogen that is present in plasma and plasma is used as reagent in this test so it converts fibrinogen into fibrin clot so here is my trick to remember the result of coagulase test as the word coagulase or coagulate coagulate means clot so in this way you will remember that the result of coagulase that end result you will see fibrin clot and fibrin clot is formed in coagulase test the principle of coagulase test the bound coagulase is also known as clumping factor it cross links with alpha and beta chain of fibrinogen in plasma to form fibrin clot that deposits on the cell wall as for example this is a staph aureus and it have bound coagulase on its cell wall it has bound coagulase on its cell wall so what happens when you add plasma in it plasma have fibrinogen B uh, this uh, bound coagulase converts fibrinogen into fibrin clots so now these clots are deposit on the cell wall these clots are deposits on the cell wall of staph aureus so as a result individual coccus stick to each other and you see clumps in the result or on the slide so now let's see the procedure of coagulase test place a drop of saline on each end of the slide or two separate slides one is act as test and the other is for control with a loop straight wire or wooden stick emulsify a portion of isolated colony in each drop add a colony on each drop 
to make thick suspensions okay so add you have to add colony on both test and control then add a drop of human or rabbit plasma to one of the suspension and mix gently only add plasma in the test no plasma is added in the second suspension to differentiate any granular appearance of the organism from two coagulase clumping so in control no plasma is added look for clumping of the organisms within 10 seconds clumping occurs in test indicates that the isolate that you have added is staph aureus so that's all about the procedure of slide coagulase test the results if you see fibrin clot of any size it means that the reaction is positive and the bacterial isolate is staph aureus and if you see no clot means it is it is other species of staph aureus the actual glass slide coagulase test one is completely smooth while other has visible clumps indicate positive coagulase test on these slides you can get a link in the description box thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you